Well, if you've got a Core Ultra 7 265K or 265KF, and even though it's literally one of the most efficient CPUs out there at the moment, you want to get lower power consumption, lower temperature, and even at the same time, get more performance out of these, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at the Modern PSUs with this undervolting guide. It's going to be based on Z890, but it's going to work for every LGA 1851 chipset for every single one of these. It's also going to work for the non-K series, which are going to come out very soon as time of recording, but it's the same. Now, this tutorial is going to work no matter the brand of your motherboard and no matter what cooler you have, okay? It's going to be just simple, universal settings for every single one of you. I'm going to tell you first a set of settings which you can just copy and have your PC run stable. And then I'm also going to tell you how to change it a bit for yourself if you want to do some extra testing and extract the maximum out of your CPU. So I want to keep it nice and short, but before we get started, promise me one thing. At the end of the video, if the video is going to be helpful, you will drop a like and subscribe. If it didn't work for you, I don't want your like, I don't want your sub, but if it does, I want it so I can bring you guys more CPUs, more GPUs. The goal of my channel is to cover every single piece of hardware in the market. That said, let's go into the BIOS. Let's start tuning. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, first thing, this is going to work for every single maker of your motherboard. So this is MSI, but if you have an ASUS Gigabyte ASRock BIOS, that's going to be all the same. The only thing that changes is going to be the naming a little bit, but I will try to tell you all the different naming so you're not confused, okay? First thing we want to do is going to the advanced mode, which in my case you do by pressing F7. And once here we want to go into the overclocking or AI tuner or OC tab, which is going to be where you basically change all our settings. Now, the first thing we want to do, which is not actually part of the undervolting tutorial per se, but make sure you do it, is going to be enable the XMP. So the extreme memory profile, this one over here, you want to put it on profile one. It's going to be disabled normally. Put it to profile one. But then you want to test this separately because if you enable this, your PC may become unstable. So test this out separately. Then we can start with the actual undervolt. Undervolting itself, you want to go all the way down over here until we go on the voltage settings. And now we will have two different settings, VCC core voltage and CPU core voltage. Now, different motherboards will have slightly different naming, but it's not going to be a big deal. What you want to do is go into the mode and put it into offset mode and then put the minus and then you want to put 0 0.05 over here. And on the CPU core voltage mode, you want to go offset here too, minus here too, and put 0.05 over here as well. And now if you want to just do the undervolting for temperature, power consumption, and a little bit of performance, you could actually close the video already. So just hit F10, save your settings, close the video, you would be done. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Just if you close it, maybe drop a like and subscribe. But in case you want to stay, I will show you one more setting for performance and then show you the other option, which is to go and do a fully static undervolt which I recommend less, actually. The other thing we want to change is go all the way on top and you will have a performance preset, which in MSI motherboards is called MSI performance preset, but in other motherboards may be called CPU cooler tuning or power limit tuning or something along these lines. Anyways, you will recognize it because it's going to be called Intel default setting. You want to click enter on it. And now this is going to change depending on your cooler. So if you have just a bad cooler, you want to leave this on default. But if you have an all-in-one, even a decent one, you want to put the, the second setting or the third setting, uh, basically. Uh, it's going to have different names depending on the motherboard, which is why I'm not telling you which name. But for example, uh, I'm running here an air cooler, which I have a video about on the channel. It's pretty good, actually. So I would put the MSI performance setting. But if you're running, for example, a very good water cooler, you can go with MSI Extreme setting. But if you have a very, very good water cooler, you want to put the unlimited one. But again, this is going to vary depending on what you have. So this is it. Undervolting is done. If you want to do the dynamic one. Now, if you want to stay, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, the static one as well. So for the static undervolt, you don't have to do any of the previous step. You just want to enable the extreme memory profile. 
and then we can actually start. So I will just reset my settings in the BIOS quickly, and we can now start again. So if we want to do the actual manual tweaking, we're going to set a static PICO ratio and a static ECO ratio. And that's going to basically allow us to go even lower with our voltage. Now to do that, we want to go ahead and go on the PICO ratio and put this one at 54, which is our stock frequency for the PICOs. Now you will need to use the MSI limited settings for this preset, but you better just unlock this in general. Now we want to go on the ECO ratio and put this one at 46. So with those two done, we now just need to change the voltage. And now for the voltage, you will see we now unlocked different tabs. So we can now do our P-core voltage and our E-core voltage, which we could not do if the PC was at stock. So at this point, we can do two different undervolts. Dynamic one, which is going to be offset minus on both of them. However, we can put 0.1 on the P-cores usually and 0.075 on the e cores. Now, something I should have told you before is if you're doing this, you're, you, of course, these are the settings I recommend, but you can improve them. So if your CPU is very lucky, you may be able to go higher with these. For example, if you're very lucky, in the initial preset, which was 0.05, you could go all the way up to 0.075. If you're very unlucky, you may have to go a bit lower and go to 0.03, for example. And same thing now. So if you're very lucky, on your P-Core, may be able to do 0.125, and if you're very unlucky, 0.075. Here, if you're lucky, maybe 0.1. If you're unlucky, 0.05. Now, this is very important. The bigger this number, the better the temperature gain, the better your performance, but you risk instability. So you need to test these settings and make sure they are stable. Now, if you want to do a fully static preset, instead of offset here, we put override. And now, which voltage do we need for 5.4? I find 1.15 is going to work for most of you guys. And for the E-cores, still override, I find 1.05 is a very safe voltage. But again, you can go actually a bit lower. And I find, if you're very lucky, 1.1 on the P-core and 1 volt flat over here is actually going to work perfectly fine. And with this, we have truly finished our undervolted tutorial. So if you have any questions, as usually, drop a comment down below. And I hope to see you guys in another video very soon. And again, I have many more tutorials with different motherboards, different GPUs, which you may want to check out on the channel. Bye-bye.